Don't just look at me, I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me, now I can't remember Hey beautiful people, welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan Welcome back, welcome back, thank y'all for joining me for another video um, I've been down for a good bit, I was sick and then my blood pressure was through the roof and yeah, and my house just went downhill, put it that way. My house went downhill. So I'm gonna take some time to clean it up and get it back in order. I have a couple hours before I have to go and get the twins from school. I did start picking them up from school again. School bus just be doing too much, I can't take it. They have about a month left of school. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm working with and then we're gonna get this cleaned up and I'm just gonna keep going. It's gonna be like a whole house. I'm gonna try to squeeze in as much as I possibly can. If I have to take a break, take a break and then get back to it. So let's get to it. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope y'all are all doing well. I appreciate you all so very much for just taking a little bit of time out of your day and getting some motivation and inspiring me. If I inspire you, I, that makes my day. And I'm just truly thankful for y'all. So. If you have not subscribed, I hope you will do so. And if you are a lifetime loyal, welcome back. I love y'all to the moon and back and let's get to it. So here we have the kitchen. Stove needs to be cleaned off, floor needs to be swept. I have a bag over here of stuff that I've been getting. Hey, Rumble. Hello, Rumble Lena. Leah, why are you eating the cat food? Huh, huh? <laughs> and then, so yeah, it's just a little bit of, hi, beautiful girl, hi. Hi, Lee, Lee, Lee. Hi, Lee. Here she come too, look. <laughs> Rumble is a mess. Um, Rumble. Anyway, so here's the kitchen. I have some dishes I need to put up. I need to empty out the dishwasher. I need to clean out the sink. I am going to start dinner momentarily once I get everything done. Then we have the dining room right here. It needs to be picked up, um, tidied up, vacuumed. The Carpet needs to be shampooed, but I don't think I'll get to that today. And yeah, just things put back into their place. Then I'm gonna move into the hallway and upstairs. I need to do some laundry, it's just a lot. The bathrooms need to be cleaned up. It's a lot that needs to be done. And yes, I have kids here. beautiful people you know I love to start in my kitchen I love to get that nice and clean so that I can move on with the rest of the home the first thing I always do before I take my dishes out of the dishwasher is I wash my hands I know y'all saw me do that moment a few minutes ago but I wash my hands then I take the dishes out the dishwasher get those put away and then I start loading the dishwasher it was so funny because on this day, Rumble was trying to eat Leah's food. Leah is our chihuahua and she will be 12 this year. She's coming up on 12 and yeah, she does not play that. So <laughs> Yana was trying to keep Rumble away from her while she was eating. Rumble, you know, she's a puppy. So she's just trying to do whatever, play, eat, jump, all that. And so Leah barked at her a couple of times and growled at her and we're like, Yana, you better get this dog because Leah don't play about her food. That's with humans or animals. She don't want to be bothered when she's eating. She's one of those type of dogs. So I had to laugh, but Rumble is so cute, guys. She is such a cute little doggy. We're still working on the potty training. And when I tell you that <laughs> I hate having carpet in my living room and dining room now, I absolutely hate it. I'm going to be shampooing that very, very, very soon <laughs> again for the hundredth time. But I mean, you know, we all got to do it. So that is the only thing when it comes to puppies, you know, you just gotta, gotta train them. So Ayana is, has her on a schedule. She takes her out every couple hours, but I said it needs to be more frequent so that, you know, cause she's a puppy again, she's uh, three and a half months. 
so far. So I had to clean off my stove and I just bought some new like little cleaning tools, nothing major. I like to replace certain stuff every um, couple weeks because, you know, it gets used, ratty, you know, all of that. So I had to clean off my stove. I had made uh, taco chips and meat for the kids. And yeah, it was just a mess because sometimes I do let them get their, make their own food and everything. And, you know, sometimes I make a mess when I'm cooking and all of that. And it's okay because it's super easy to clean up. I really, I truly don't mind, to be honest with you. I just made them, last night we had cheeseburgers and fries, something very simple. But I haven't made cheeseburgers in a while, so they were delicious. And they were seasoned perfectly. And then I did the fries in the air fryer. And the secret to the fries, guys, you have to sprinkle the ranch seasoning on the fries a little bit of onion powder a little bit of garlic powder and then i sprinkle just a little bit a pinch of um season salt on the fries just a pinch kids love them oh my gosh you talking about perfect combination and of course my kids always use the chick-fil-a polynesian sauce with their fries and stuff it i crack up i actually bought some more of that today from target on my way home because they had ran out and they were they they want that more than ketchup or anything else they want the chick-fil-a polynesian sauce so anyway just stopped and picked that up for them so i'm getting the stove cleaned off and i am going to be wiping the entire stove down as well as i'm going to sweep a mop in here i like to make sure my floors are nice and clean again because we have the pets and yeah it just it, it makes me feel good making sure that the floors are clean if i had to guess i would say i probably mop my kitchen floors at least three times a week if not more it's usually like every other day but i'm gonna say at least three times a week Till I let it burn, but never lose my desire. desire Had it from the moment that I felt my first love I knew I'd never get enough of you So I did go to the doctors today. Um, if you're not aware, let me give you a little bit of backstory. So the past Monday, for the past couple days, I had a massive headache. So even Mother's Day, the Mother's Day, Mother's Day, the Monday after Mother's Day, that's the better, you can kind of understand where I'm going with that. So the past few days before Mother's Day, I had a massive headache. It was waking me up out of my sleep. I wasn't getting any sleep. My head just felt like it was going to explode. And I thought that it was due to, you know, my monthly friend coming. Every time my monthly friend comes, which is regular every month, I have no issues with that. Um, I get headaches, but this time it was worse. Like in my head just felt like it wanted to pop. And so my sister was like, don't you got that blood pressure um, cuff? It's for your wrist. Check your blood pressure. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I totally forgot. You know, I, I go to the gym. I, I feel like I eat healthy enough. I'm not a big salt fan. I'm not eating fried foods and all that, like lunch meat and, and chips and pretzels and all of that all of that so i'm not thinking my blood pressure is high but i did the blood pressure cuff a couple times actually on both wrists and it kept it kept coming up 200 over 100 and something so it was, at first it was like 211 over 100 and something and then i took a picture of the next one which was like 207 over 110 and i'm like this can't be right like i've never had high blood pressure not when i was pregnant not not ever. I mean, I ain't gonna say never had high blood pressure. I've never had it that high. The highest my blood pressure was that I've ever remember being recorded was like 140 something. That's it. So I was like, you know what? This ain't good. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go to the emergency room. I went to the emergency room. My left arm was hurting too. So I'm like, Ugh. you know, I'm not trying to have any issues where I'm not going to be here for my family, my kids. 
I went to the emergency room. I was there for several, several hours. They did a CT scan. They did a couple other tests. They checked my heart. They um, checked my thyroid. They said sometimes your thyroid um, can cause elevated blood pressure. They checked all kind of stuff. Everything came back normal, except my blood pressure was still high. It was still 170 something over you know, over a hundred or whatever. So they gave me some blood pe pressure medicine. They also gave me an IV cocktail to help with the headache and they, some other stuff, guys, I can't even remember all of it. Anyway, um, my blood pressure started to go down and they gave me a prescription for blood pressure medicine. And I was like, okay, perfect. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to follow it with my doctor because again, I don't feel like I eat bad, which would cause my blood pressure to go up. But, you know, lately, like I told y'all, this the first half of the year has been a little stressful. Now, everything, I'm not going to put every little bit of my business out on YouTube. I'm just not going to do that. Um, but life, like life will life, you know what I mean? It, it, you have your ups and downs, your highs and lows and all of that. So I'm like, well, maybe I'm a little stressed. It could be, you know, it's possible. Hmm, whatever. So they gave me the blood pressure medicine. I actually, the headache came back. It wasn't as bad, but it did come back. So I doubled the medicine because I took my blood pressure again. It was still 200. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. And my doctor's visit wasn't until a week later. So I doubled the dosage that they gave me. And I took my blood pressure again. It was still high. So I doubled it again. Like every day I would not. Okay, let me rephrase that. I was supposed to be taking five milligrams. I doubled it to 10 milligrams per day there. And so <laughs> um, then I would say within like three days of me doubling it, it started to go down. And yesterday I took it, it was 140 over um, like 78. And then today when I went to the doctors, it was 122 over 77, perfect. I told them, I said, um, I started doubling the medicine on Thursday because my headache had came back and I just, it wasn't as bad, but my blood pressure was still elevated. And they were saying that's okay because the five milligrams was the lowest dosage. Now I'm not saying do what I did. Please don't, please don't do what I did. You're not supposed to do that. But I have my sister who is a nurse and um, there's another family member well, like family by, by proxy of marriage. You know how that goes. Okay. And so did talk to them and everything. I ended up doubling it. The doctors told me, they said, well, just so you know, don't, you're not supposed to do that. But we do understand because five milligrams was the lowest dosage. So you could double it. Some people even take, they said some people even take 20 milligrams, I believe. Um, but everything, it worked for me. So anyway, I'm also going to get some iron infusions. My iron is really low and I've been anemic for as long as I can remember, as long as I can remember. I first found out I was anemic when I was pregnant with my oldest daughter. Okay. So um, I've had several iron infusions. I've had several blood transfusions to um, increase my red blood cells and my iron. And so my iron is low again, even though I take iron pills and I take blood builders, it's not working. And they were saying that um, after you have the bariatric surgery, it's very hard for your body to absorb iron anyway. And since I'm already anemic, it's uh, what else? I don't know what else I can do. Of course, I can eat more spinach and I can eat more red meat and blah, blah, blah. I can do all of that. But again, it's not going to, my iron is so low that I would have to eat that stuff nonstop and, and still hope and pray that it's going to get to a suitable, a suitable number right now. It's, it's so low guys. I can't even explain it. I am so drained. Um, if I was a Caucasian person, I would probably look pale. Okay. I, I, and I don't know how else to explain. I'm, my iron is, is so low. And when I went in there in the emergency room, they said, your iron is so low. You have to see your PCP about that too. I said, okay. And then today when I went to my PCP, she was like, yeah, we looked over your, your, um, <laughs> your blood work and stuff you had at the emergency room and your iron is so low. We were going to recommend the iron infusions again for you. And it, it's, 
like I said, I've had multiple blood transfusions, multiple iron infusions. I, it's just an IV. You have to go there and they're going to pump it in you. Basically, they're going to pump it in you. And it does work. It does work. It, it works almost immediately. I don't know why they just don't do that. Like, why can't I just get one like once every month? Or if I can't, like every three months. I'll even do every three months. I mean, dang. Insurance pays for it. They pay for it. So anyway, um, we talked about that. Uh, we talked about a lot of stuff. But that was the, the two biggest things. And I feel really good about that. I have another appointment coming up. And they're going to call me once they have the iron infusions um, scheduled, approved and scheduled type of thing. So, you know, how you got to submit everything through insurance or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and I have to go for a mammogram. So I got an order, a script or whatever you want to call it for that. Yeah, that's basically where we're at, <laughs> where we're at. But I'm, I'm feeling better. Um, I'm still not 100% because I'm so drained. But I think once I get that iron infusion and stuff done, I, I think your girl is going to be on cloud nine. I really, really do. It may look like I have all this energy, but I, I truly force myself. I, I force myself like it's nobody's business to get stuff done. Okay. I just have to keep talking to myself and talking to myself. I do take breaks. I told y'all I take breaks. Um, but yeah, sometimes it, it's so hard. It's so hard, but I have to get it done. Now, my oldest daughter is in there cleaning up the bathroom. I am going to go in after her and mop because I had started using the mop be right before she was getting ready to get to it. But yeah, we're just getting the house together. And yeah, that's that's all it is, guys. Sometimes the house just needs a a good cleaning, <laughs> a good cleaning. So now the kitchen is clean. I had to mop. So a lot of the times I will mop and then move into the dining room so that I can let the floors, you know, dry before I go back in there. And that's what I was doing here. So the kitchen is clean. The floors are clean. Everything is wiped off. Stove, my little coffee area. I am thinking about changing up some of the decor in the kitchen. Ah, so we went through some of the bins also down in the basement. I have a video of that coming up. For you guys i let gianni pick whatever she wanted oh there were some things i wanted to hold on to but that's okay 
and um, <laughs> I let her pick her stuff, but yeah. So now the kitchen is nice and clean. I'm finishing up in the dining room. I'm gonna get this done. I am going to um, pause the cleaning because I did have to go to London's performance. It was the last dance performance of the school year and it was actually in the middle of the day. It started at one o'clock. So I had to go to that and then I picked up the twins and so forth, you know, life, mom life. But yeah, I'm just getting everything tidied and cleaned up and, you know, put away and moved out the way. I am going to vacuum in here really good. And like I said, I do want to shampoo the carpets again, which they need to be shampooed like once a month anyway. Oh, I know I'm just jumping all over. I went to Ross today and I thought I had charged uh, um, uh, my camera, but it wasn't charged. That was my fault. Sorry. Um, but I saw the most beautiful rug. The, I saw this rug, guys. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was so big. It was exactly what I'm looking for. But I want to have the same rug in the living room and the dining room just because I like that. I don't know. I like it. But I was like, oh, I should get No, I shouldn't get it. I shouldn't get it. Oh, it's so hard. It was so hard because, you know, you already know that if I go back, it's probably going to be gone. And that's OK. So I went to Ross. I was looking for a few things for my porch because I want to do a porch refresh. I did find a few things, which I'll show you in an upcoming video so that you can see. But I gave myself a budget. I'm sticking to the budget. I am so proud of me. Yes, go me. And I'm sticking to the budget and we're going to do a porch refresh. It'll be coming up in the next um, couple days. Like today it's 80 degrees. I think it's 81 outside and it was like 70 at nine o'clock in the morning. I think it was like 76 degrees, but I was on my way to the doctor's office. So, you know, you couldn't, I couldn't do that. But these past couple days have been in the eighties and there's, I don't want to be outside doing work like that outside. I'd rather do stuff inside. So anyway, it's going to be coming up, the porch refresh. I'll probably do that, uh, let's see, if not this weekend, I think this weekend I should be able to, yeah, because it's Memorial Day weekend, and we were going to have like a, a cookout and, you know, get together, but my mom is working, um, my sister's kids are um, spending time with her husband's side of the family, her and her husband, I think, have made plans for them. Like, so everybody is doing their own thing. So it just might be me and the kids. And believe me, when I say if it's me and the kids, I want to do some yard work. I want to do like, I hate to say it, but it makes me happy. I still want us to go and do something fun, of course. But we're going to have a longer weekend. So I want to squeeze in like the porch refresh, a little bit of yard work, all of that in there, too. So let me know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're doing for Memorial Day. Do you consider Memorial Day the kickoff to the summer? I know we do. Even though school, after Memorial Day, the kids still have like, man, whew, I don't even know, like a good 17 more days of school left or something like that. I can't remember. But we consider that the kickoff of school. And I already made up my mind that on the weekends this summer, I don't want to be cleaning at all. I want to clean and stuff during the week. And on the weekends, I want us to, I want to be able to get up and have a clean home and just be out and about either going to go visit my mom, going to the zoo, going to the aviary to see the birds, even though I'm not a bird fan, but I thoroughly enjoyed the aviary last time I was there. Going to the pool, going on a hike, going, you know, like I want to go and just, oh, bike riding. I want to get a bike rack to go on the back of my truck. And I want us to go bike riding. You know what I mean? Like, I want us to be out and put on our sunscreen, go to the beach, you know, go to the lake. It's a lake, actually. I want us to be out and about. So, yeah, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you consider the Memorial Day the start of the summer. I know, I know we do. So, yeah. Also, sorry, guys, I want to throw this in before I forget. I rode past Michael's. I almost stopped. Right now, they have their... Um, spring and summer floral stems on sale for 60 percent off okay so i think i'm gonna go there and get some new stems but if you're in the market definitely check them out that is michael's 60 percent off of their stems
as you can see, the kids are now home from school. I had London do the litter box and I am just moving stuff back into the dining room, getting the chairs and everything out the way. If you're wondering about those poles, so I noticed in the home, we have really good windows as far as like they keep us warm, but some of the windows are starting to slide down at the top from the top. So I bought the poles from Home Depot. I think they were like five or something dollars a piece. And all I did was cut them with my saw and I put them in the window to keep the windows up. Does that make sense? I'll have to show y'all eventually. Um, but yeah, so some of the windows were coming down and I just, I can't have that. So I bought those poles to kind of get them back up and keep them up. So here I am just mopping the floors and the wood floors and yeah, we're almost done with the dining room. I cannot wait. I need, I want to get my floors done so, so bad eventually one day, but I want to get the floors done so bad. So here I am just mopping the bathroom floor. Like I told you, um, my oldest daughter cleaned the bathroom, but I wanted to go in and mop because I had grabbed the mop and yeah, we're about done with the dining room. people the dining room is clean yes finally nice and clean just the way we like it oh my gosh so I'm actually thinking about repainting the walls I'm not thinking about it I am going to repaint the walls guys I've made up my mind <laughs> but um that is coming that'll eventually come that's a lot of work that is a lot of work gotta take everything down and so forth but oh, I just saw that tape up there I'll have to get that anywho the dining room is clean. Everything is dusted, vacuumed, put back in its proper place. Here's three of my Mother's Day cards. They are so pretty. From the kiddos. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. But yeah, everything is clean, dusted, wiped off. Rumble is just running around. <laughs> running around. But yes, so now we're going to move into the hallway. I love my flowers. Move into the hallway and get that tidied up. First, I'm going to run to London's school performance, and then I'm going to come back and finish. Just something comfortable. You look great. Thank you, Simon. I had a white fish jumpsuit earlier, but all these lights is too hot. Oklahoma. I used to stay on the east side, but then once I became bad at Gucci, then I lost it. Oh, wow. Congratulations. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a singer, pianoist, dancer, twerk, rap, whatever. T today I'm going to be singing, though. Go ahead, show us what you do. Boom, boom. Baby, I'm not one of them. You should try on it. Miss me. 
So beautiful people, now we're moving into the twins room. I asked them to clean up their room. As you can see, they did have one of their friends over. And yeah, lately, I told y'all before, I don't mind the kids coming over and hanging out and everything. The room was a mess. I did not ask the friend to clean up or anything like that. I would never do that. Um, but of course, like if she messes up, yes, clean up, please clean up. But the majority of the mess was the twins because it is their room and they should take better care of their stuff. Anyway, so we are going through the room and they were like, oh yeah, this is going to take us a little bit of time to get it clean. No, 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 no. Let's, let's get this room thoroughly clean. Y'all know how I clean. So of course I said, nope, I need to move your bed, Cade, first. And that's what we did. I moved Cade's mattress and then my son came in and helped me lift the entire bed up and put it on top of the other bed. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. And then we're getting everything cleaned up. We're getting it wiped off. The walls wiped off and everything. The baseboards, I had them help me out. Oh my gosh, these kids, these kids, they test my patience every single day of my life. Anyway, <laughs> so we are going to thoroughly clean their bedroom wipe everything down like i said i'm gonna give them new sheets pillowcases all of that stuff so that you know it'll be nice and clean kinsley's bed that's where her and her friend was sleeping they made a mess on the bed which i'm trying to understand and i, I guess it's my fault because they had mattress covers and why are they not on the bed i don't understand neither here nor there i'm going to find them and get them back on the mattresses after i clean the mattress okay so anyway we did lift up both of the beds. Both of the drawers were cleaned out. I cleaned out their dressers. I cleaned out their closet. Their vanities were wiped off. The floor was swept and vacuumed. And like I said, the baseboards and all of that was clean. The only thing I did not do in their room was mop. But I had, we were actually getting ready to go. So this was early. I want to say this was, oh, this might have been like 10 o'clock, 11, 1030 in the morning. And we were actually getting ready to go. Well, not getting ready to go. We had somewhere to go on that date. So I was like, what in the heck? We got, we got stuff to do. Let's get this done as quickly as possible so that we can head out and do what we need to do. Okay. So like I said, my son did help me move the bed and we're going to just finish getting this together as well as me getting the rug and stuff flattened out again, <laughs> flattened out. So yeah, their room can be a bit of a disaster, guys. I mean, it is what it is. It, their room could be a bit of a disaster. So can mine. But everything can be cleaned up. Everything can be put back in its place. Everything can be wiped off and organized. So even though sometimes I will take their phone or their electronics and stuff like that, they're kids. They're kids and they need to do better. They're learning as we go. And that's all I can hope for, pray for, whatever. That's all I can ask for. So the majority of the stuff in their room was basically, you know, like Cade, I don't know if I showed y'all or not, but Cade made dog kibble, which she just cut up cardboard boxes into little tiny pieces of dog food, guys. Yeah, stuff like that. Y'all know my kids are super duper crafty. Um, Kinsley loves to make bracelets. And so there were a bunch of beads on the floor. So that's why I vacuumed the floor so much because there were little tiny beads everywhere. And yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that, that's what it is. That's what it is. They need to learn how to not bring anything up to their room, no food or drink, throw away their trash, and I think their room will be so much better. It, does that make sense? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I had them cleaning off the baseboards, and then I'm going to um, get Kinsley's bed moved over and get it cleaned under there, and we're just going to finish cleaning up the room. I did, like I told y'all, I cleaned out their dressers because I did go through all of their clothes again and I purged some more of their clothes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've been doing that lately. They are just growing so much. They're growing so much. And so I gave some more stuff to my niece. And yeah, I love that. I love that I'm able to, to do that. I really do. Or give it to someone in need. So anyway, we're going to finish getting this room together. And then we're going to be heading out. I like luxury. I like fancy things. Shine on my body. Live like royalty. Treat you like a king. If I trust, but you must be worthy of the crown. I'm not just in need. Yeah, sometimes I come in here and I'm like, how is it even possible? Like, what were y'all doing? What were y'all doing in here? Like, y'all are little tornadoes. They really are. They're little tornadoes. They are. <laughs> oh, shoot. But anyway, like, like I said, the room got cleaned up and they were feeling so good. It's just super cute. They did ask me. They said, Mom, can you please help us clean up our room? Now, they did, they did a lot of it. They did a lot of it, and they did help out and everything, but, you know, they did ask for help, and I'm okay with that because I, I really don't mind helping them clean their room. I want it to be nice and clean. I want them to feel good in their space and, you know, take pride in their space. So, yes, mom had to go in there and help them clean up and get things put back in order. I did tape down the rug a little bit because it was starting to bunch up, um, but... I'm hoping that'll work. I do still need to, to put down the carpet tape for the rug. I love this rug. I got this rug off of Amazon. It just goes perfect with their room and everything. Um, but yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. I'm getting rid of these pants as well, guys. I was so tired of pulling these pants up. No matter what I did, like the elastic on them did not want to stay up. So it, it was just so annoying. So I'm getting rid of these pants for sure. Anyway, I did tape down, <laughs> I taped down the rug and then we're going to move the beds back in their places or somewhat in their places because I did switch it up just a little bit, just a little bit. And then we're going to finish cleaning the, the rest of the room. I love the beds. I love that they have drawers at the bottom of them. Uh, the kids don't use them as often, like right now, which is perfectly fine. I was keeping some of the jeans in there, but my kids are like me, out of sight, out of mind. So I ended up moving the jeans to the closet. I hung all the jeans up. So you'll see that um, shortly. I'm going to get that together. The only thing is that I noticed at the bottom of the beds, the cats are starting to scratch um, the beds. And this is like a faux leather type of material. So that's not good. Yeah. But everything else is, it's okay. I just wish that the cats weren't scratching the beds up at the bottom. I will put, I do have some, it's called like cat scratch tape that I'm going to put on there. But other than that, 
it's okay. So Kinsley likes to make her bed up. It's so cute. I did move the bed. You're going to see me. I moved it all the way to the wall. She's like, can you move it all the way to the wall? Because I keep falling in a crack, which, you know, she doesn't. But I think it's safer when her friend is staying over. You know, they have more room, kind of, and they feel better, more comfortable on the bed. So we're just getting up all the squishmallows and all of that and i'm going to get the clothes together and get them put up so i did have some clothes in the oldies bags y'all know how i do i fold clothes downstairs i bring them upstairs i am going to go through again and sort them so i am very anal when it comes to certain things as far as like their underwear and stuff goes in the top and shirts go in the second drawer shorts and stuff go in the second drawer um leggings and stuff go in the bottom drawer and so forth like that so i do always go through their dresser drawers organize everything for them and some of the stuff i did get rid of because either if it has any type of stains on it any rips or anything it goes in the garbage and if it's too little then it gets given away Trying to get you to wake up I ain't coming, don't wait up Can't ignore my intuition, baby I know you're typing every game you try to play I did make a section for like their winter clothes um, they have hoodies I hung up a couple hoodies that they can grab when they want you know like if we're going to the drive-in then you know it might get a little chilly at night they can put a hoodie on and get comfortable in the truck and we could watch a movie or if we're going to the movie theater I always take me a jacket and stuff when I go to the movie theater because it does get a little chilly in there so I did keep a couple hoodies I hung them up in the closet a lot of their sweaters and stuff though I did put up on the side and I told them this is winter stuff you don't need this don't even mess with it because you're not going to need it so that is what I did I always um, organize their stuff as well and now for example Cade is in a 1012 Kinsley is in a 1214 so even though they may have the same items even though they may have the same clothing items they're in different sizes so that helps me separate their stuff as well and I told them like when you look at your stuff Cade yours will say 1012 on the size and Kinsley yours will say 1214 and that's how you know that it's yours and you can wear it so here on the side of the closet system, the top two shelves are going to be winter items. I did like sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, things like that. And then I did sweatpants and um, hoodies and stuff in the second part. So that is what we did over here. Make me 
me feel I don't wanna mess up your night I don't wanna put up The girls are really starting to, you know, find their own style. Kinsley has already found her own style. She knows what she likes. She knows what she does not like. She will not wear something she does not like, no matter how much it costs, where I got it from, who gave it to her, whatever. She will not do it. Cade, I still have a little bit more influence on Cade. And, you know, she's, she's, they don't want to wear anything like, let's say, unicorns on their clothing or, uh, I'm trying to think like babyish type clothing but Kate really doesn't give me a hard time I'm like here Kate put this on she's okay whatever she's fine she doesn't really give me a hard time Kinsley is like I'm not putting that on where do you think I'm wearing that to somebody might see me in that type <laughs> so I did go through and um organize their closet I had uh for example I had two dresses in their closet that were a size eight they cannot fit those. It's time to give those away. I had a couple other things in their closet that they could not fit. So it was time to give those items away. So yes, <laughs> I did go through everything in the closet. Now it is nice and up to date and they can wear what they, you know, they can go in there and pick what they want to pick, wear what they want to wear or not wear. And probably in a month or so, I'll go through it again or you know, maybe the end of June or something, I'll go through it again. And yeah, anything that they're not wearing, and that's still in good condition, I always just give it away because there's no need. Now, the stuff that I bought, the summer stuff, like the shorts and stuff, they both liked all of those items. I didn't have any problems. But again, I am going to order them some stuff off of Shane. And Kinsley has been making her a like a Shane cart of the stuff that she wants to wear. Cade, again, doesn't really care. So they're really, this summer will probably be a very big transition where they will not have the same stuff going forward. They might have the same stuff like here and there, but the majority of the stuff won't be the same. now we are basically at the home stretch i am just going to sweep everything vacuum one more time and yeah the room is going to be done for the most part the, again the only thing i didn't do was that was mop and that was going to be for another day because i had other stuff to do <laughs> had other stuff to do 
so yeah i do want to thank y'all so so much for watching i really truly appreciate y'all so much you don't even know number one out of everything this community is amazing and i know y'all say all the time that i motivate y'all but y'all motivate me as well and i truly appreciate y'all i really truly appreciate y'all i hope that y'all have a beautiful day a wonderful week whenever you are watching this uh, god bless y'all god bless God bless all of y'all. And again, thank y'all. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing. And if you're loyal, a lifetime loyal, extra thanks to you all. I will see y'all in my next video, which will more than likely um, be the video of um, Gianni and I going through <laughs> the bin and her deciding what she wants to keep. Or it's going to be an outdoor backyard video. Okay. So <laughs> I have I actually have like one two three i have three or four videos that are in the process of being edited guys so i have content it's coming it's just the editing so stick with your girl yes stick with your girl please but i love y'all guys i will talk to y'all later have a blessed day bye What you do twins room is clean and i am washing Cade's comforter just so you know kensley's comforter will go next but there's no need to take both of them at the same time if you ask me but their vanities were wiped off the floor was vacuumed i do still want to mop in here and i will get to that eventually i did move kensley's bed all the way to the wall she asked me to she said so she won't fall into the crack over there but yeah the room is clean the kids are down there cutting up um, they have friends over and Yana's friend is home from college, but yeah, so I am just showing y'all really quickly the room and then I am going to see what else I can get in. Hey, babe, I know that life can be
Cause you love